It's time for Super Starcraft Bros. Diamond Friday. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What do we got today, Iron Sparks? We have a P... Nope. TVZ on Shakira's Plateau. All right. Let's see. In the red corner, we have Take to Break. And in the blue corner, we have Thad Castle. Thad Castle. These are the weirdest names ever. So we're going to call him Castle. We're going to call him Break. Do you think... He's going to break the castle? Yes, naturally. Oh, naturally. Alright, we have some good luck, have joyful fun. fun. I'm going to go with joyful fun. Jelly, jelly fun sounds weird. Jellyfish. Have jellyfish. Though, if you think about it, the creep does look a lot like grape jelly. So maybe he is saying have jelly fun. He wants him to have jellyfish. Alright, so uh, Thad Castle throws out his stuff. Take to break. Throws down his supply depot. At least we have one, sir. Yep. Alright, uh, that overlord decided to just stop. It's a good place to stop. But that overlord, he's on a mission. He's going the distance. Alright, let's see. So, it's been kind of an eh week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, those casts were a little eh. Our Thursday cast was really cool. Uh, we had a, a fan of the show send in is replay mm -hmm. uh which is really cool so if you guys have not seen the platinum thursday video you need to go check that out right now not right now well well if there's finished video then go back and watch well they it. could pause it go watch the other one then come back and watch this one true yes so we do have not that expansion going on there we go all right it looks like he moved the drone down to perhaps hide it from the sev uh so the sev didn't do that nasty little i'm going to patrol back and forth to stop you from building it yep. uh no spawning pool yet from Thad Castle, so it looks like he was just going to expansion first. We'll probably see that spawning pool go down as soon as he gets enough minerals, though. Yep. Uh, we do have a barracks just about to finish for take to break, and uh, Geyser is going down as well, so we have our first Marine out. He's got his wall finished. Uh, a good opening build against the Zerg for take to break. Uh, Overlord moved in, saw nothing fishy. Moved out. And he's leaving. Do so have that uh, overgun down as well as the spawning pool just starting as well as the gas going. It's pretty uh, quick gas, so I think we will see uh, straight to attack something else. Or probably, probably roaches. Or we could see a fast uh, metabolic boost as soon as the spawning pool's done. I don't know if I don't know if it's called fast, but no. we could see. I, right. Well, with marines, uh, roaches would be a, a better choice. Yes. Um, it looks like. Take to break is getting ready to build his own expansion. I unless he's going to improvise a wall until that command center is finished. That's actually kind of an interesting tactic. It's uh, very uh, very interesting. It stops any type of zergling uh, run by from going down while he's building it. Uh, it, it is a little odd. Uh, normally you'll see the command center built in the base for the chair, but I, I like this play. I think that's quite interesting. He's throwing out his engineering bay. Uh, it comes from an engineering bay? Monetaries? Do you think? No. Hmm. You think he's going to use it as part of the wall? That's... Why else would you build a... Okay. Okay. We're going to see the first ever planetary fortress wall off. That's my guess. Uh... <laughs> this is going to be a good Friday. Okay. All right. Uh, metabolic boost is on the way for a Zerg player. It's on two for two. So far. Yeah. Well, if this pans out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> he has enough gas for it whenever it finishes. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Uh, it finishes up. And, and it's turning into a planetary fortress. I cannot, two for two. I cannot wait to see how this pans out. Uh... All right. Well, Zerglings are going to pop and go, what the hell? What do you do after seeing that as a Zerg? Nidus. <laughs> Nidus the hell out of that main base. Let's see. He could get a nice Nidus right here. Yep. Or he could go straight to Spire Tech. Yep. Because he is getting that, those additional gas, so it's going for something that's gas heavy. Yep. Um, I want to see a Nidus now, though. <laughs> uh, that most bizarre wall off I've ever seen. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that. Except, like, in mono battles. He's just going to build as many command centers as he can. Do you think this guy is going to planetary fortress attack? I hope so. That would be awesome. 
All right, so we have two more command centers going down. He really hasn't built any Marines out of his barracks. He's slowly building one by one. Uh, I think that castle really needs to move a couple of his scouting overlords in so he can see this. Mm -hmm. We just have this overlord up here, so he might be able to get something off right here. And he is getting his uh, lair started, as well as working on a, a uh, macro hatch. All right, uh, he's well, in the wall of his own. Fad Castle is playing standard, and Take to Break is blowing my mind. And those Zerglings die by the hand of the most terrifying wall ever. <laughs> Alright, uh, we have another orbital morphing in at the natural. Glad to see that's an orbital. Yeah, that would have been a little overkill if it was. Alright, uh, he's producing more SCVs off of these other command centers. It's going to be very interesting to see what he does with... Ease. Well, he's finally throwing down some more barracks, which gives him vision with all the map, which will make it a little bit harder to memorize unless he gets on the line over here. True. From what I think that Council needs to do right now is scout with those overlords. He needs to see all of these command centers. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like the wall off by that Council. He's using combination micro macro hatch and the Evo chambers. I'm curious what he's going to do once his since his lair's finished. If what what's he's going to tech to? Um, um, uh, Muta, anything from the Spire would be a good choice right now. because kind of infestation did. Alright, uh, so, maybe we'll see Zergling and Infester. Actually, what I'm thinking is, uh... Nice, you're excused. Good burp. <laughs> I wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Um, I was gonna say he might go for the, uh... Alright, those... Well, what do you think? Uh, two more orbitals morphing in in the base for... Uh, take take to break. So either he's looking to mine out his main and natural incredibly fast. This is strange. And he's getting a lot of barracks. What do you call this build? I'll do whatever I want. That's <laughs> right. uh, He's finally throwing down his refineries. He's getting reactors down. We might just see mass marine at this point, which will be pretty bad against his uh, investors that are going to be coming out, as well as the Banelings. Alright, so it looks like that castle has some type of sixth sense, and uh, he's taking his third right now, which I like to see. Good good creep spread. He's going to have all those bases uh, linked up by that jelly. How much health do Banelings have? Uh, uh, not too much more than a Zergling, don't they? Hmm. Don't quite recall. Uh, we have plus one upgrade for melee attack, and we have plus one armor upgrade for that castle on the way. He has four infestors. I Holy barracks! Uh, he the finally factory. has the fact <laughs> now. So I, I have a feeling we're going to see mass marine with medvacs. What I'd like to have seen the Zerg do is go broodlords. Yeah, that's because everyone likes seeing them go broodlords. Yeah, but with the broodlords, since the uh, planetary castle... The planetary, planetary castle. castle. <laughs> Hate those planetary castles. Planetary forces can't attack air. No, they can't. Uh, I w Muda would be a good call right now. I don't get why they can't attack air. Well, they're like the immortals. They can only look up so much. <laughs> the, the, the air units like fly at that level. No, they don't. They're a little higher. <laughs> uh, we have Burrow on the way. Almost finished. That Baneling Speed's almost finished. Uh, good creep spread. He's almost reached mid map with those tumors. I'm um, I'm liking the play out of Thad Castle. Um, even though I am a Terran player, I'm rooting for Thad Castle this game. He looks like the underdog for some strange reason. Well, there's nothing really stopping him from starting this creep. Uh, no, because <laughs> Take to Break has literally walled himself in the most extravagant way possible. I mean, perhaps if he threw down another planetary instead of a barracks right there. All right, we have uh, a bunch of Marines and a couple of Marauders on the way. Uh, it looks like these two these two guys are just going to do macro up and then uh, see what happens. We do have an Overseer sitting in Take to Break's base. Um, I would love to see that wall planetary get Baneling busted. That would be awesome. It would be interesting if they have a changing in here somewhere. Uh, what will I do get taken out? Uh, let's see, we do have a bunch of supply depots on the way for Take to Break. I don't know if he does have a changing in here. Because that... Oh, no, Overseer was just barely... No, nothing. No, but he does see that he has... Very strange build by Take to Break. <laughs> uh, kudos to him for trying something different. I'm, I want to see this attack happen. See, we are getting to that hive tech, so we could very well be seeing those uh, 
Food Lord's on the way. Yeah, and we do have the plus two, plus two for Fad Castle. Almost finished. Uh, his investor count's getting very high. And we do have a Siege Tanks on the way, as well as that Siege Tech, as well as Stim and Combat Shields. A batch of Muta would be really good right now. Um, I, find, I find, it, find it interesting that he did get all that upgrade stuff for the Bainings, but he hasn't made any yet. No, he might be waiting to see uh, if he can perhaps get the army without sacrificing any of his Zerglings to Bainings. Uh, he's massing up a lot of links. He's currently taking his fourth and his fifth right now. Yes, he is. Uh, definitely staying on top of his bases. This is a lot of Marines. It is a lot of Marines, and it looks like Take to Break has a feeling of uh, Muta, because he is guarding those mineral lines very heavily. And he's uh, going to be uh, maxed out pretty soon on supply. Any type of Baneling bus that occurs at that main gate will not be answered for at least uh, about 10 seconds by most of the army, though, like you said, the siege tanks are almost finished, but they are stuck. <laughs> and that bears to the list off. Um, we do have Star Wars, however, he doesn't have any supply to build anything from them. I think at this point he needs to lift up those Orville Command Centers and move them out to bases. Uh, it's very odd, uh, odd <laughs> having those macro orbitals in the... Ooh, this is going to be so laggy, but I'm going to units are on the field. There is. I think when they engage, can we take down the, the bar? Uh, this one? Uh, no, just the bottom bar. Do you remember how to... We do get a... We have the Banelings on the way. Uh, let's lower some of the graphics down so we can see what happens. We have some fungals going off. We have fungals Ooh. over half the army. The Lings are coming in now. Ooh. Look at all those fungals. Wow, that's a nasty green fungus. And here come the Banelings. I think this is going to mop up everything. We have a little Ooh. bit... Oh, nice fungal on now that. Banelings could come in, take down, at least take down something. All right, these bangs. Uh, nope. We have this tank on the high ground. Do we have a tank on the high ground? No. Uh, they go for that engineering bay, and about half the life of that planetary wall fortress is gone. Ever, I mean, you know what? He's almost burned up. He is. He's been using those mules constantly from uh the two other just macro command centers. Uh, it looks like he's going to start lifting off now, but he had a lot of supply taken out on that failed push. But he can rebuild it because he has a million bears. He can't, and he does have a lot of... Uh, he's 3,000 minerals. ...reactors on those. Uh, I'm actually going to surprise that that castle hasn't really surged in the supply count so far, considering how well off he is. Uh, though he has kept his minerals low for the past couple minutes. And he is work. He's just about to... Get full upgrades on these uh, Zerglings. All right, so we have investors. They have plenty of energy on them. We have the Zer the Lings coming in. That tank's going to be able to pick off quite a bit. If you can just uh, get some nice fungals, get those Zerglings on that tank. All right, it looks like he's Fungal. going in. We have fungals on the groups of Marines. This tank wasn't sieged up, so it wasn't really up. Oh, we have the Investor Terran coming down, and we have the GG from Tank to Break. Kind of an anticlimactic game. But it was fun. That was fun. I, I've never seen a planetary fortress wall up. I've never seen that many macro uh, orbital commands. Um, kudos to that castle. He definitely kept up on his macro and his hatches. That was that was awesome macro from our, our Zerg player. I've never seen this many hatches in command centers, Tim. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was a little slow, but uh, kudos to both players, that castle and Take a Break. You guys did an awesome job in this game. Um... Yeah, so uh, we'll wish you good luck and have fun on your StarCraft adventures. GG. GG.